Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Q. Now, it's actually a cool concept because apparently you use colors to like get through the level or something. It's like controlling things with the colors or something. I don't know. But um Yeah, so I don't I don't really know the story, but there's some story behind it. I don't really know, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, here's me. Left and right. Dump the scrim chit. Alright. Dearest uh, you. Oh. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum. A ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway. Something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Huh. That like her or something? The heck are you? Hey? Stuff that's nice. Climbing though. <laughs> Alright. This way. Fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Alright. It's the lighthouse. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. Maybe that's this person. Uh, Alright. Seems pretty cool so far. Goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. Hearing noises is creeping me out. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so basically you can help people and I guess get through yourself by using the colors and controlling what is appeared and what disappears, I guess. Okay. I guess I do that, and there you go. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. Mm. But if you discard those expectations, oh. <laughs> don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? Yeah. I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. All right. I need you to see the world not for what it is. But for what it can be. Nice message. Nice message. Nice message. All right. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Just missing a leg. Got it. Okay. Will I die if I go down there? Probably. Music is really nice. Kind of like a soothing game. Just a... I'm gonna say that in about five in about five minutes we're gonna be trying to do a lot of stuff. Alright. It's gonna be really hard. Or the game's gonna get really hard to do. To play, I guess. I guess I just do this. So I can, yeah. Alright. If I do that, I'll... Okay. What? Where'd I know? Pull it this way. I guess I'm gonna find another color and then I go back or something. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I tried to do that. <laughs> right. Oh no. Figure what's about to happen here. What didn't well then? Just 
go up here. Wait for it to pass. Then... There we go. Look at this. Why did you jump back? What? <laughs> Why did you jump back up? Oh, is, okay. I guess you can do that. Just ignore me. Alright, well, there you go, little one. Pink color? I don't really know. <laughs> I guess it's like pink. Oh, yeah, that is definitely pink. <laughs> or violet? Okay. Purple color. Okay, what is. The chief even said it was violet, then it was purple. Okay. What? Oh. Did you know, Hugh? That purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. So she's basically losing her mind by this point.
No, okay, that was a bad, <laughs> that was a bad move. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, I think I hit the wrong one. Trying to figure out is what that is. Probably that woman. He's leaving us notes. My nose, I unlocked the next color, the orange. Orange. Da 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 da. Oh my, oh bright, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice, though. Orange. We got orange. And there's nothing this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. I keep forgetting that the door does that. <laughs> the university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone, and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Yeah. There's the rocks again. We're back at the beginning, what? Oh my. <laughs> back all the way at the rocks. So I need so there's an orange one. Or not an orange one, what a yellow one. And a red one though, it's on my back. <sighs> oh, I didn't okay. Apparently you can hit that. There's something over here that I just missed. No? Okay. Yeah. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered oh. more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours and soon our gold became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us and we knew mm. it. So basically the work made you st or made them stop paying attention to anything else. That is a different color blue, okay. I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> Does that mean I missed something and I walked the wrong way? What it has to mean is I don't know. Oh, was... no, okay. <laughs> Wrong one. Go back. Yeah, I guess. I mean, must have missed something. Um, I did miss something. Is there like a different color I can change it to? No? Wait, but... But you can get up there. Now I'm really confused. <laughs> ah. Let's be 
sama sama. before. pushed it the wrong way. I think I'm gonna try this again. Alright, so I think I know what I have to do. Um, go pink, yeah, go purple. And blue, I can get over here. Oh, too far. Okay. Now let me try this, because I think this is what I was supposed to do. Um... No, I can't move it. So it has to move it this way. Now what? Oh, oh no! <laughs> the wrong one. other way what am I missing oh So if I push this over here, push this right here, with the thing, and I bring this over here, I go like pink or something. Oh, wait, no. Then pink. No, then, no. Then pink. <laughs> no orange again. Orange again. There we go. Alright. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes, so. Thank you all for watching. This will be an uncut series. This is a shorter one, but that's just because. 
that I don't have much time. But, um, thank you all for watching. Um, I will not be uploading this next week because I have this, like, summer camp thing that I have to go to. But, um, I'll be uploading. So, anyway. Okay, that stuff's music. Alright. But anyway, see you all next time. Goodbye.